Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having macaroni and cheese crusted pizza. And I did record a video on how I made this and that will be out on this upcoming Thursday. And it is a loaded pizza. It has sausage and pepperoni and mushrooms and all sorts of good stuff. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, I thought I would pop in really quickly and show you what I was having for lunch today. I picked this up from Trader Joe's on my last shopping haul and I'll make sure to link it in the cards above and also in the description box. I love Korean food so I was really excited to see this. So this is the front of the package and this is the back, kind of to give you an idea of what's in there. You can either pan fry this or microwave it. I pan fried it, and here it is. It does not look exactly like the package, but um, it is just, to me, just okay. Um, when I bought this rice, I bought two packages, because like I said, I love Korean food, I love kimchi, so I thought I would really like it, and it's just okay. For me, I'd probably give it a five out of a 10. Um, it's not really spicy at all. I can taste the kimchi a little bit. It does have a decent flavor. You can't tell it from my video, but the rice is not as um, firm looking as it is on this package. It's a little bit, it's kind of like sticky rice sort of. Um, but anyway, just wanted to pop in real quick and show you what I was having for lunch. See you guys at dinner. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having pork tacos. Now I use this barbacoa seasoning that I had in my pantry that I wanted to use and you're supposed to cook it in the slow cooker. I had a pork roast in my freezer that needed to be used, so that is what I used. And um, all you do is brown your meat and then you um, put it in the crock pot and then you add this seasoning mix. It's actually a wet mix, not a dry mix. And then I cooked it on low for about eight hours and it is so good. Howard and I really like the flavor of this a lot. It's super tender. And so I um, made some Mexican rice to go with it. I do have a video on our channel that I will link in the description box and in the cards. It's so easy to make Mexican rice. And then we had some leftover pinto beans from last week that I wanted to use. So this is my plate. And I don't really like a lot of stuff on my tacos. I did grill these tortillas to make them soft and pliable, but this is mine and it just has some Colby Jack and then salsa. And then this is Howard's plate. He put his rice and beans on his tacos. He likes a lot of stuff on there as you can see. So he has sour cream, cheese, avocado, and salsa as well. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are going meatless. That was not the intention of this dish. I was planning on making a dish that I've made several times before on this channel that has Italian sausage, uh, bow tie pasta, and broccolini. But when I opened up the sausage to cook it, it had a horrible smell. So Howard and I decided to throw it away, so that's why we are going meatless tonight. But I will post the original recipe in the description box because it is really, really good. So all this is is bow tie pasta, garlic, Parmesan cheese, and broccolini all sauteed. And then we are trying out these um, breadsticks that I picked up from Tom Thumb. Normally I get the slices of bread, but this time I wanted to try out the breadsticks and this brand is one of my favorites, so I hope we like it as much as the breadsticks. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, I am trying out a new recipe today. It is called Cheez-It Crusted Chicken. I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. But what I have here is about a pound and a half of chicken tenderloins that I have um, cleaned, washed, and then I've tried to drain them and dry them as best as I could. I have some sour cream right here. And in here, I have crushed Cheez-Its. I have panko crumbs 
I have Parmesan cheese, Italian seasoning, cayenne pepper, and salt. And so the only thing that I'm doing a little bit differently than the recipe called for is I'm using less chicken. So the original recipe calls for three and a half pounds and that's way too much for Howard and I. So I'm using a pound and a half. So I've got my chicken here, I've got my sour cream here, and then I'm just gonna dredge it in this breading. So here I go. And you're just supposed to get the sour cream as best as you can on the chicken like this, and then you're just supposed to coat it in the crumbs. Okay, here are the chicken tenderloins. I've got them all breaded up. I'm getting ready to pop them in the oven. All right, so here is the chicken. I ended up cooking it for 30 minutes, and here it is. I am serving it with some rice -roni, broccoli cheddar, and here is the box, or here's what I used. And then I'm just having a small salad on the side, iceberg lettuce. And then here is the rest of the chicken in the pan, and I cut, up, cut open one so you guys could see it. So one thing I will say I think I would do differently next time, I would probably take off excess sour cream. I didn't do that this time around and some of the coating is a little soggy. So I would suggest that if you make it, try to take off as much excess sour cream as possible so that the breading won't be soggy. But it does taste really good, it has a good flavor. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so we are celebrating our belated Valentine's Day dinner today. We got snowed out here in Texas on Valentine's Day, so we weren't able to go get pickup. So we are eating dinner from one of our favorite Chinese places. Howard got Hunan chicken? Beef. Hunan beef, which is right here. And then I got Szechuan chicken, and this is new for me. And this one is new for him too. He likes lots of sauce and I prefer mine a little bit drier. Um, and then we have some hot and sour soup that we're going to split. And then Howard wanted to try this. It's like dumplings in a, it says a, like a fiery hot sauce. So there's a sauce in there. These are the crispy noodles for the hot and sour soup. And then I got a side of plain fried rice. Howard got a side of steamed rice. I can't remember if I mentioned the spring rolls or the little egg rolls. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time.